is your friend and mine, the film twit, coming to you live and direct from the depths of the twit cave with more Marvel heroes on this Marvel morning. Let's get started. Now, as you can see, we are still uh, palling around with Rocket, and my co-pilot, as always, is Frenzalo. Howdy. And we're going to be doing some danger rooms today, mixing things oh. up. Exciting. Now, danger rooms work a little differently than other content in the game. You have to spend a, an add-on, a, a drop, to get into the danger room. Uh, different danger rooms have different difficulty ratings and bonuses and what have you. Uh, we are going to pick out some rather easy ones to get us started. Probably going to do two or three. Okay, and to get things started, you go to the hub, go to the waypoint, and one of the challenges, oh no, it's one of the hubs, one of the hubs is Danger Room. Now, uh, fighting in the danger room gets you a special currency called Danger Room Merits, which are uh, spendable within the danger room for various different upgrades. There's a Wolverine team-up that's unique to uh, the danger room. There's some artifacts and uniques that you can get. Some rings. All sorts of stuff. Salutations, my commendable colleague. Okay. And let's get this party started. Pop some boxes here, real quick. This here is my booty. See anything you like? And we're on our way. Okay, so first things first, we need to defeat eight cliff walkers. Oh. That's a good way to start things off. Happy birthday. Bunch of random stuff I'll never use. This fellow brought all of his hit points. They're making short work on my turrets. One downside of the, uh, oh, nice. One downside of the, uh, 
so-called biggest update ever is they changed the way the summons work. Summons are, uh... They only last so long now. They don't stay out forever until they get defeated. Are you talking about the sidekicks, or...? No, like actual summons. Like if a, uh... Oh, I see. If a character like Rocket summons the, uh... Do I want to advance to the next emulation? Yes. <laughs> Eliminate the mutate chieftain. Okay, I can do that. So, <clears throat> how does Rocket understand what Groot was saying? He just does. He speaks Groot. Yeah, but isn't doesn't Star Lord have like a universal translator? Well, it's not as universal as it could be. Clearly, it's not Groot. But yeah, it's no. There's no special power. There's no. Uh, superior ability that allows him to understand Groot. He just understands Groot. I was reading a, uh, a fan theory online that says that uh, the entirety of Guardians of the Galaxy is actually just a D&D &D game hosted by um, the Avengers. And uh, one of the Avengers, I can't remember who it is, I think it's Bruce Banner, is Groot. And he's not really paying attention to the game. He just looks up and says, I am Groot every now and then. You know what? You're the second person to tell me that. <laughs> so, um, how does this... Really? Let me see. Is it the one that we were talking about? Yeah, it's the good one, too. Plastic. Look at that. Look how great we are buying stuff. <laughs> What'd you buy? Um, we were discussing which of the um, the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies that we owned, and she's like, we're, I'm pretty sure we have one of the Hulk movies. And I'm like, the good one or the crap one? And she's like, I'm pretty sure it's the good one. I'm like, I don't remember ever buying it. And then she went over to the shelf right now, came over with it, still wrapped in the wrapper. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so... Uh, ah, we went. One. We didn't have... Um, we went and picked up uh, Age of Ultron uh, okay. yesterday, because we just didn't have it. And then discussed about how we don't we don't have any of the Captain America movies. Oh, that's a crime! A damn shame. Now be careful here. Venom hits pretty hard. Or maybe he doesn't. All my ammo. Target so you get a nice big loot bonus. You're welcome. Me out, you're coming with me. Uh, I don't need any of that stuff. What I get? No, thank you. No, thank you. I do more damage. And I'll go with these. Hey, I got a backpack. What's that for? That is just for, uh, that's towards an achievement. Um, all it's really good for is selling or donating. Mm. But you collect right. X amount of things and it goes towards an achievement. Ooh. 
We have a weird collection of Marvel movies. Okay. And the Hulk movie that's not even open. Uh huh. But then we don't have any Captain America or Iron Man. That's interesting. That is. We do good. have Ant Man though. We haven't watched that yet. Oh, Ant Man's a good time. Yeah, that's. I've heard nothing but good stuff about it. I just I need to actually watch it. And we watched the second Thor movie, which was considerably better. You know, the worst part about about Thor being Jane Foster is how much that character sucked in the first Thor movie. Yeah, she wasn't very good. And she was okay in the second one. Like I said, my biggest complaint about the second Thor movie is that the Asgardian super friends weren't in it enough. Right. Uh, I feel like they did a poor job with uh, with the villain, as usual. Oh, the Dark Elf fella? Yeah, Malekith. Yeah, um... The Bifrost is the shit, though. And who, who runs it? What's Heim- his name? Heimdall. Heimdall is the shit, as well. What'd I get? All right. Look at all that experience. What are you going to do with all that experience? Yeah, Heimdall is awesome, and the Bifrost is awesome. Like, I want one of those for my house. <laughs> and a dude who can see everything and ruin all the... Spoil all the movies. Ah, you don't want that movie. It's not any good. Oh, come on, Heimdall. Just... Stop telling me the endings of all these movies. So this is our reward for beating that? Yep. Is there harder versions? Because, I mean... Yes, there that are. Was a, uh, that was a... That was a... What is it called here? That was a Marvel Heroes Anniversary Cakewalk. Oh, uh, I see what you did uh, there. You see what I did there? Let me open up my boxes here. Hmm? Put that on group. Me, you, me. See anything you like? Sell off my crap. Do you know where I would purchase Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 fortune cards? Uh, in the store. Okay, because it says that I've got retro cassette tape, which is an ingredient to purchasing <coughs> fortune cards. Uh, no, the you get those for opening fortune cards, and if you get X amount of them, you can trade them in at uh, Clea, one of the vendors in the Avengers Tower, to get rewards from those fortune cards. So basically the way it works is if you buy enough fortune cards, you don't get what you wanted you can spend the currency that you get from the fortune cards to get what you wanted. Okay, so, um... Where is she at? (laughs) Uh, she is in Avengers Tower. All the way to the left. All the way to the left. Alright, are you, uh... Are you in another one of those things, or are you setting it up? No, I'll st- I, I still have to get a harder one out of my stash. Oh, okay. Because that one so was... That's those, um, that's those little um, little devices is what we're doing, right? Like a little plug-in. Yep. All right. There you are. You're so glowy. Ancient forgotten devices. I don't think I've found those before. What is this blue thing? It's a ghost box. What is that? What is that? Currency. Let's see that currency on here. You have to scroll all the way to the bottom. Cube shards are no what uh no there's a are those cube shards? Yes. You get those for beating uh terminals. Hmm, I wonder if I spend them get a couple. What else what else I sell them for here? We've got some brand new boxes. An ancient gourd of prestige? That's the best kind of gourd. Yeah, the Ancient Gourds of Prestige allow you to obviously prestige your character. And if you go through six times, you're the you're the cat's ass. Yeah, if you go through six times, you uh, become cosmic. Your name turns yellow, and uh, it takes twenty five times longer to get to sixty on the cosmic level. Something like that. 
Oh, if you prestige, you can buy this uh, Mark One Iron Man fella as a pet. Mm -hmm. That's neat. That's something to spend a million credits on. Ghost box. And there's a lot of stuff in this vendor. I've got 10 retro tapes. I can buy... What are flourishes? Uh, flourishes are... Um, they're Spray sprays paint. that you can... Here, I'll show you. I've got the Bifrost uh, Flourish. Oh, well, I want the Bifrost Flourish. It just sprays a... a thing on the ground. Oh. Yeah, that's all there really is on here. Oh, unless you get a bunch of extra tapes. Yeah, you if you get, get a bunch of them, you can get Gamora or, or Drax. Drax. All right, I guess I'll mess with that later. Let's, let's uh, shoot some bad guys. All right. Shoot some bad guys with my laser hands. So the last one was a danger rating five. We're gonna kick it up to a fourteen and see how that goes. All right, cool. Maybe we should go do that Ultron level again. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no, that's okay. Watch out for those uh, lightning strikes. Watch out for the lightning strikes. I don't think we would have been able to do that without you. So we continue? Yep. Uh, oh man, lightning strikes again? Bait for the beast. I've got one of the baits. Two. Here we 
There's three. Uh, there's some up here. You guys have a lot of HP. Yeah, that's why. I'm, that's why disappearing them is the best. Speeding up how much lightning there is. Mr. Mayhem Copper. You know this could be fun if you didn't fade over. Whoa. Just lost all the frame rates. Hmm. It was down to eight frames a second. I'm just gonna jet over here. Yeah. Now he's got to go plant the bait. <clears throat> I'll do it. I'm the master of this sort of thing. Oh, I see what you did. Hey, it's a dinosaur! Because why not? Pouring everything I've got on this guy. Still doesn't seem to be making a dent. There he goes. Alright, continue. Oh, wait, hang on. I've got some junk to pick up. Yeah, me too, but I don't know how far off it is. I assume it was teleporters. Yeah, okay. 
cool. Man ape. Are all of the scenarios in this swamp? No. We just happen to get lucky twice in a row. I've done some in the subway, I've done some... Uh... In, like, uh, city area. Whoa! He smoked me real quick. You down? Yeah, I'm coming back. Oh. All right, what I get? That wasn't the last one? Yeah, it was. It's time for the... to pick up. Oh. Rewards. This here is my booty. So when you first started doing these danger rooms, how many times were you... How often were you uh, humming danger zone to yourself? Uh, pretty often. It's like I was on the highway. You were. I have run out of room.
Alright, let me know when you're ready to go. Ooh, that's significant. I got a super heroic headpiece. <clears throat> well, it, it bumped up my damage a thousand. Wow. Was that a cosmic item? No. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, that'll happen. I have a, another super heroic headpiece. Why am I not picking it up? Uh, thousand bonus damage is the max for cosmic items. Uh, most uniques don't go up to a thousand, but with their other stat bonuses, it balances out. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff sitting here still, but I, I can't pick it up. I don't have room. So, it's alright. I'm not too concerned. There'll be more to get later. There's always more gear. Make sure make sure to grab the ones with the the, um, the glowy pillars, though. Yeah, definitely. Always want to grab uniques. <clears throat> you seem important. Okay, let me visit my stash, and then we'll do one more uh, danger room. If that's all right with you. No, oh, yeah, that's fine with me. Hang on to that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And get rid of that. Okay. Ready no. when you are. Yep, okay. I think I freed up enough room.
Ah, uh, see, here's a subway. Now, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a swamp. I didn't see what we were supposed to be doing when I came in. Yeah, what are we supposed to be doing? I don't know. There's a question mark over here. We'll get there eventually. Yeah. Somebody this way knows the answer. I must have missed some thingies. I'll be right back. Yep. Yep. Missed some eternity splinters. Can't miss out on those. Those are important. That's, that's true. You want to keep getting your rando boxes. Right. Or not rando, depending on how it works. Mm-hmm. So have you played around with any of your uh, new characters? Nope. Nope, I was gone all yesterday, so I didn't have the opportunity to try anything out. I was planning on um, playing Rocket next, but uh, I'm not sure. Curious to see how uh, some of the other ones work. Plus, I still got Cyclops with his, um, you know, his, his really good level 50. Synergy, yeah. Synergy. And I'm thinking maybe I'll use up some of my uh, five times XP bonuses to try to get him to 60 quick. Is there any real benefit for having the character at 60? Yes. You get another XP bonus. Oh, okay, great. You get uh, scaling XP bonuses uh, based on how many heroes you have at 60. Very neat. I think it's up to 200% bonus, which is what I've got. Oh, what this? It's just my 200% XP bonus. Killed on my turrets. Simulation successful. <laughs> okay, continue onward. Locate the first group of civilians before they get attacked. 
Yeah, don't bother with the trash. Alright, I found him. Sweet. Vibro Smashers. Oh. Look at all the turrets, it's hilarious. Turrets that he keeps smashing. Feed all those to Herbie. Mm. 
Yeah, that's what I need. Every time he says, this is my booty, I want to play uh, Black Flag. <laughs> no. Ooh. I think my staple gun is still better. I might as well pick these up to feed them to my pet. Alright, and on that note, we're going to call it a morning. Thank you all for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And I will see you in the later times. Bye-bye.